It's time to review 1792 Small Batch. Hey guys, welcome to the Bourbon and College YouTube channel. I'm Austin. I'm enjoying bourbon without breaking the bank. Today we're reviewing 1792 Small Batch. Let's get started. So, um, 1792, if you can tell, is one of my most loved bottles. It was one of the first fancy whiskeys I bought because the, con the container looks so cool. But before we review, let's get the info. 1792 Small Batch is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey distilled by Barton 1792 Distillery at 46.85 alcohol by volume or 93.7 proof. All right. So let's try some 1792 Small Batch. This might be a bottle down. Uh, after tonight, it will be. Good little pop there. While I'm doing this, I want to let y'all know that my Tee Public site is up. You can now get Bourbon and College t-shirts, mugs, uh, phone cases, different things like that. Uh, I got a t-shirt ordered, and it'll be in soon, and y'all can see what it looks like live. Or you can go check it out now for yourself. They're really cool. All right, so first off, the color. The 1792, it's a, it's a classic bourbon color. It's not too light, not too dark. Um, it It is what it is. It's... It's now that I've had a lot more bourbon. It's one of my favorites because it's a classic, but it's not really doesn't stick out that much to me anymore. On the nose, I get the kind of peanut butter covered banana that I get on similar things like Jim Beam, like uh, you know, the white label Jim Beam. But it, you know, it's got it's got some good rye notes there. It's it's a little bit higher rye. Let's see what we get in the taste. It's all one noted. Uh, so small batch, as you know, doesn't really mean anything. It's their baseline uh, over Barton 1792, kind of their baseline entry. It's real easy to drink. It's you know not not burning you at all. A little bit of Kentucky hug at the end, but it's not really burning you much. Mm. It's sweet, sweet though. You know, it's 93 proof, 93.7 proof, so it's not. The lowest it can get. It tastes kind of watery. It's sweet. A little bit of spice in there. Easy to drink. It's nice for a hot day like this. You know, nothing you're going to have to struggle with like a Booker's or anything. It's good. It's it's nice. It's not fantastic, but for a beginner, it's pretty good. I got this bottle so long ago, I don't even remember what I paid for it. It wasn't that expensive. This is pretty common. The other releases are getting rare and rare but this is pretty common so anyway on the finish there's not much finish like i said it's watery other than that that's my uh full review it's kind of short today it's a it's a keep it's a pretty bottle it's cool um but i wouldn't suggest it. if you're a full-fledged bourbon enthusiast and you haven't tried it yet i wouldn't it wouldn't be high on my list for you to get next but if you're new especially you want to stay on the cheaper side it's a good gateway into better bourbon so check that out again like i said go check out my t public t public site that link will be below it's also linked in my website so go check out bourbonandcollege.com also linked below to see all my podcasts all my videos all the stores you know all my whole collection as soon as i hit 50 subscribers again i have 10 when i release this video i have 10 more subscribers to go comment your favorite bourbon below and subscribe and you'll be entered to win a Bourbon College Glen Karen. Also, take the survey. Again, link below. Take the survey. And so I hit 50 surveys, I'm giving away seven samples and a Bourbon College Glen Karen. Check those out. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy Monday. Cheers. If you want more Bourbon in College, follow us on Instagram at bourbon underscore in underscore college. And like our Facebook page. Subscribe to us on YouTube and your favorite podcast player. Find all these links and more at bourboninecollege.com. Thanks, everyone.